much fun to be a part of Busy Town. We'll keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. Oh, my. Oh, you certainly have been hungry, Furnace. Why, you've eaten all my coal. I'd better order some more right away. Ah, yes. Busy Town Coal? Mr. Frumble here. I need lots and lots of coal, please. What? My address? Uh, uh, one moment, please. Oh, what a bother. There really is far too much to remember these days. Oh, my. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Ah, there you are, house numbers. You are number 75. Or are you 57? Oh, my. What will I tell the coal man now? <laughs> Aha! A wonderfully lit tree. A true landmark. I'll have the coal delivered there. Hello? Please deliver the coal to the tree with lights on Frumble Lane. Thank you. Ah, we Frumbles are very good at problem solving. Oh, no! Our Christmas tree! Abe and Babe, were you two running in the house? I wasn't! Babe was chasing me! <laughs> I don't see anything funny, and I don't think Santa will either. Now we don't have a Christmas tree anymore for him to put presents under. But we have another Christmas tree outside, Mom. You're right, Abe. Santa can use that tree. Okay, you two. Run along to bed. But I'm not tired. Me neither. Abe, babe, please don't be naughty. Try to be nice. Wait, we learned a song about Santa that had naughty and nice in it. Yes, you did, dear, about how Santa doesn't bring presents to naughty children. I heard if they've been really bad, he brings them bags of coal instead of presents. Well, you two, now it's time to be nice and go to bed without a fuss. Tomorrow's going to be a very Merry Christmas. Sleep tight. Wow! Look at all the snow, babe. I hope Santa can get through with our presents. Oh, dear. Something's happened to the electricity. Oh, my! Mom! We're gonna play outside! But don't you want to see what Santa brought you? That's just what we're going to do. Maybe we should look under the Christmas tree inside first. Santa couldn't put anything under there. We wrecked it, remember? Wow! Look! Presents! Presents! I can't wait to see what Santa Let's brought. Let's open the window! Open them! Open them. <gasps> it's coal. I can't believe it. Santa did bring us coal for Christmas. We must have been really naughty all year to get so much coal. I wish we had been nicer. Now, now, everyone. As you know, because of the storm, all the electricity in Busytown is out. And I don't think I can fix it by the end of the day. No one will be able to cook Christmas dinner. They could if they all got cold from Santa like we did. Hey! If we could... Oh, yes! Let's tell Sergeant Murphy! Sergeant Murphy! Christmas dinner is saved, everyone. Run home and get your sleds and meet us at Abe and Babe's house. 
they have a special present for all of Busy Town. Abe and Babe will hand out bags of coal for everyone to take home. We can use it to cook our Christmas dinners on outdoor grills and barbecues. Oh, my. Oh, oh, how's your cold? Oh, I, I must see if my coal has been delivered so I can feed furnace. Here, Mom! Now look what you've done. Why did you bring that dirt in here? It's not dirt, Mom. It's coal. It's our Christmas present from Santa. Why do you think Santa brought you coal? Because we've been naughty all year. But we did something nice just now. We shared our coal with everyone so they can cook Christmas dinners on barbecues. What a good idea, you two. <laughs> Say, what is Mr. Frumble doing out there? Oh, dear me. Furnace is not going to be very happy. Only one piece of coal. Mr. Frumble! Come inside. You must be frozen. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, thank you. Have you lost something? Well, yes. I would ordered lots and lots of nice black coal for my hungry furnace. But this is all I got. Then that coal was yours. It wasn't Santa's present to us. Maybe our presents are under the broken tree. Yeah. Ooh. Wow! I was wondering when you check under that tree. Santa's full of surprises, you know. I think there's another nice thing we can do. Mom? We could have... <laughs> Mr. Frumble! Since all of Busy Town used your coal to cook their dinners with, would you like to have Christmas dinner here? Christmas dinner? <gasps> Did you say Christmas dinner? Yeah! Why, yes, thank you. Imagine, it's Christmas. You know, babe, this being nice isn't so bad after all. I like it, too. Well, you certainly seem very good at it. Imagine that. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Mine, too, because it's time to share with family and friends. Christmas time is the time when we gather with friends and family to celebrate. Christmas time is for wreaths and for Christmas trees we love to decorate. Time for goodies to eat, time for sending a card filled with love for the ones that we greet. Christmas carols fill the air because it's Christmas time. Christmas time is the time when we give all we can to each other to show that we care. Christmas time is the time to be especially kind. It's Christmas. Do you like it, Loli? Like it? I love it! What a neat locomotive! Wouldn't it be just great for my train set? If you're lucky, maybe Santa will bring it to you for Christmas tomorrow, Huckle. That'd be nice, Sally. But somehow, I don't think so. Why? Santa brought you what you wanted last Christmas, didn't he? Yeah, but Christmas is tomorrow. How can Santa know this is what I want if I just wanted it today? Mom, Huckle doesn't think Santa will bring him what he really wants for Christmas. Why is that? I just don't think he can find out this is what I want before he leaves the North Pole tonight. Well, Huckle, I think Santa is pretty clever at reading children's minds, especially extra good children like you. And I get the winning basket! The crowd goes wild! The most valuable player award goes to... John! <laughs> John, if you're not too busy winning the game, could you take the kids for some hot chocolate? Uh, uh, sure, <laughs> Fiona. You know, I, I was just seeing if this toy works properly. And I see that it does, so I'll be off now. Come on, kids. Let's get some hot chocolate. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! 
Thanks. It's gonna be great. But I don't want to go to sleep. I want to stay up to see Santa, to see if he brought Huckle that train engine. Santa is pretty good at not being seen, Sally. And the faster you go to sleep, the faster it will be Christmas. Then I'm going to sleep right away. I'm sure I'll hear Santa. <sighs> and then I'll wake up Huckle, and he'll see that Santa always knows what kids want for Christmas. Little girl, I'm Lowly Elf. I'm Sally Cat, but where am I? You're at the North Pole, Sally. Wow, that's where Santa lives. Yes, indeed, and that's his house. Oh boy, can I go and see? Sure, but would you like to help us? We still have a lot of toys to finish before Santa can bring them to children all over the world. Tomorrow's Christmas, you know. I'd love to help. But I think I need your help first. Ho, ho, ho! A visitor! Santa! Is it really you and Mrs. Claus? It is indeed, and we greatly need your help. Only one day until Christmas, you know. You are eager elves. While Santa gets the elves started in the workshop, We'll show you around, Sally Cat. Then we'll all go help. This is the stable for Santa's reindeer. We have to get in shape for the big trip tomorrow. What's that noise? That's the alarm! Something's the matter. Come on! But what's the matter? I'm afraid we have a big problem, Sally. We can't get into the workshop. Thank you for telling us. Again. But everyone knows that. I can't remember what I did with the key. And if Santa doesn't find it soon, we'll never get the toys finished in time for Christmas. And we've looked for it everywhere. Won't another key fit? This is the last one. We tried them all. It didn't work. Then all is lost. I think I know a key you haven't tried. You do? Can I please borrow your foot, Lowly Elf? Um, sure, Sally. But why? Because your foot looks like a key. Ouch! It worked! Well, would you look at that? Or as Mr. Fix-It would say, voila! <laughs> We're almost finished, but maybe you can paint this toy locomotive, Sally Elf. Wow! You do know what my brother wants for Christmas, Santa. Ho, ho, ho! I'm pretty good at guessing. Gee, Huckle's going to be so surprised. I'll paint this just like that train engine in the store. <sighs> I can't wait to see Huckle's face when he opens this present. <sighs> Wake up, sleepyhead! Hurry up, Sally! After breakfast, we get to open our Christmas presents! Oh, boy! It's Christmas! Last night, I had a dream that I was at the North Pole, helping Santa and his elves. And Huckle, Santa knew just what you wanted. Really? Gee! I wish it wasn't just a dream. Wow, look! The locomotive! I don't believe it! But how did Santa know? Simple. Santa's a very clever fellow. Play it 
safe. And last but not least, the star. Be careful, Dad. It's Christmas. Have a safe Christmas. Christmas is a time for fun. Let's make it safe for everyone. Trimming the treetops for a grown-up to do. But holding the ladder is a job for you. Water the tree so it won't die. It stays fresh and green when it's not dry. Make sure a grown-up unplugs the tree lights when everyone leaves for the night. Candles are festive and nice to admire, but keep them away from things that catch fire. Get your tree recycled, that's what you can do, so it can be used to make something new. It's Christmas, have a safe Christmas. Be safe at Christmas time. Oh, thank goodness it didn't break. And that you didn't get hurt either. on Christmas Eve. Hi, Hi Nana Cat. Hi, Hi, Mom. When do you think the baby can come for a ride, Mom? I think we'll have to wait a little while until after the baby's born, Sally. But we shouldn't wait any longer to put up our Christmas stockings for Santa. <laughs> oh, oh right. right. Good idea. Hey, don't forget me. Okay, kids, time for bed. Tomorrow's the big day. I bet Santa's already on his way. Well, he'll be happy to have a snack when he gets here. Good night, night Mommy. Good, good night, night Dad. Dad. And good night to you, too, baby. John, I have something to tell you. I think it's time. Oh, no, Fiona, it's not my bedtime yet. No, John, I mean it's that time. That time? Oh, you mean it's time to have the baby. Okay. Yikes! Time to have the baby! Time to have the baby! What do we do? What do we do? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, I made a list of what we do. Uh, oh, where's my list? Where's my list? Uh, here's my list. Uh, things to do when it's time for the baby to come. Number one, get the car ready. Oh, boy, on a night like this, I wish we had a sleigh instead of a car. Gee, with all this snow, I hope Santa will be able to land on the roof. Hey, what's Dad doing? He must be making a runway so Santa can land his sleigh there. Good old dad. Father Cat's really nice to help Santa like that. Okay, number two, don't forget Mother Cat's suitcase. Well, that's not a problem. It's all packed and ready to go. I just wonder where I put it. Huckle, Roly, listen. I think Santa's on our roof. Then Father Cat didn't have to clear the driveway after all. Shh. <laughs> Oh, boy! I hope he doesn't get stuck in the chimney. Listen, quiet. Shh. This isn't the right suitcase, either. Are you looking for this, John? Well, would you look at that. Where was it? By the back door, where you put it two weeks ago. I was wondering why I would have put your suitcase up here. Okay, everything's done. The car, the suitcase, and I called Dr. Lyon. He'll meet us at the hospital. Don't worry about the kids. I'll take good care of them. Oh, the children! And it's Christmas! And our presents for them! Oh, we won't be here in the morning. What will we do? Gee, that's not on the list. I didn't think we'd have the baby on Christmas Eve. Wait! I just had a great idea. Thanks, Nana. It's a wonderful idea, John. Won't the children be surprised? Bye, Nana. We'll call you in a little while and see you in the morning. Mr. Fixit must be pretty busy tonight plowing the road so people don't skid and get stuck in the snow. Whoa! Hang on tight! Are you okay, Fiona? I'm fine, but do you think we can get out? Getting stuck was definitely not on the list. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi, John. Hi, Fiona. 
Isn't it a bit snowy for a night drive? Mr. Mr. Fix It! Are we glad to see you? We need to get to the hospital. Our, Our baby's, baby's on, on its, its way. way! Congratulations! And don't you worry about a thing. I'll have you out of there in no time. It's important to take lots of pictures of your baby. Uh, look, this one's of Little Fix-It when he turned two and a half months old. And this is the day after. See the difference? Boy, I'm sure you're excited about having a baby. I know I was. Right now, I'm just hoping Dr. Lion can get to the hospital with all this snow. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. How can you be so sure, Mr. Fix-It? Because Dr. Lion is stuck in that snowbank. And we can give him a lift to the hospital, too. Hello! Over here! Help! Okay, everyone ready to deliver a baby? You bet, Dr. Lion. I'll go make your room all nice and Christmassy. Hey, what happened to our presents? And our tree. At least Santa came. He ate his cookies and filled our stockings. Something fishy's going on here. Where are Mom and Dad? Don't worry, kids. Mother and Father Cat have just gone to get a big Christmas surprise ready for you. Where are they? If I told you, it would ruin the surprise. So be a little patient, and right after breakfast, we'll go find them. This is the weirdest Christmas ever. I wonder why Mom and Dad put their surprise so far from home. Because it's a big surprise. The hospital is a strange place for a surprise. Are we there yet, Nana Cat? Just about, Sally. Oh, boy! Look! Surprise! surprise! Our baby! Oh, he's cute! Or is he a she? This is your new sister, kids. Babykins is her name. What do you think? I think you're the neatest parents, and this is the best Christmas present we could ever have. Show. 